Okay, so today we're gonna replace my old and damaged condensate pump with a new one. I actually found hopefully the same model. And looks actually exactly the same. So I'm gonna install this one at exactly the same spot we had. Um, I broke this part and it was leaking and maybe in a future video because I'm actually interested how that looks inside I'm gonna dismantle this one and then I'll show you in a later video actually how a condensate pump looks from the inside but for now we installed the new one okay so actually I also bought a so-called rescue tape some zip ties and a hose clamp which i'm gonna use for my install uh, full disclaimer this is not a diy video i just show you how i'm installing or replacing my condensate pump now we test the pump i've already um, installed the pvc hose and as you can see the rescue tape and also the hose clamp and what we are doing now i fill it with water uh, just to find out if it's no longer leaking the new pump or if it's not leaking and therefore you can just fill it like I show you here and once it reaches a certain level it actually starts and by the way on the opposite side where you mount it there is a little uh, cardboard thing which you have to pull out it's like when you buy something with a battery sometimes you have to pull out either a cardboard or a plastic part and that's to activate the pump actually i have a bit of a weird install my pump actually has to pump the water up one floor that's actually not what i would recommend but i bought the house that way and here's that cardboard thing which you need to activate the pump and so you need to make sure to remove it what i did before I install it, like you see now, I just tested it. What you see under the pump, that's actually my water leakage sensor. And that water leakage sensor actually um, alarmed me last night that I have a leakage in my condensate pump. So I give you a link to that video. And that's, by the way, the rescue tape. And that's the hose clamp. And when you use that hose clamp, like I did, you really have to be careful not to pull it too tight. If you're not sure you might want to use a zip tie, then you cannot break that connector. And that's the water sensor I have. So if that's ever going to leak again, it's going to give me an alarm. And like you did last night, so I'm safe and sound. As always, thanks for watching.